Hey guys, so today I'm here with a first look at the new Android 2.3 update, also known as Gingerbread. Uh, so Gingerbread brings a lot of new things to Android, as the OS in general, and let me go ahead and go over a few of my favorites. Uh, so the first thing is, is that the UI has been overhauled. Uh, now this is not the entire, it's not been, you know, totally overhauled and totally changed. That's coming later. However, it has been tweaked quite a bit, and in my eye, it looked quite a bit better. Um, you know, the colors are more consistent, and generally it just looks like a nicer, more pleasant operating system to use. Um, another big thing is that they have actually went ahead and made it a lot more friendly to games. Uh, so if you're you know, wanting to play a game, especially if you're a developer, basically the operating system allows you to make much, much better games. You know, it's, it's a lot more optimized for you know, whatever game that you would like to do, which is definitely going to be great. Um, and they've also improved the keyboard and the copy and paste. Uh, so, of course, you know, always the Android keyboard's been, eh, okay, not amazing, but not awful. Uh, well, they have definitely improved it. They've added, uh, you know, more spacing. They've, they've got the layout just a little bit better. Um, and in addition, they've also went ahead and added copy and paste and war one-touch word selection. Um, again, this doesn't look quite as good as what you might find on the iPhone or the iPod Touch. However, it's not the biggest deal in the world, and it's absolutely great that they are improving it. Uh, now, continuing on, they've also went ahead and increased the power management. Um, so, of course, most people who, you know, you, if you have an Android phone, you definitely want to go ahead and have some kind of task manager. Well, now there's something kind of similar built in where it actually will show you what is taking up the most battery. So, perhaps it's the display, perhaps it's, you know, one of your apps, whatever it is. It will go ahead and actually break it down for you and show you what is taking up the most battery and what isn't. So, it definitely should help you kind of understand, you know, why your battery is not lasting as long as you'd like. So, definitely a very, very useful thing. Now, one thing that I think is going to be really, really good in this new Android 2.3 update is NFC, also known as Near Field Communication. Basically, this will allow your Android phone to serve as almost like uh, well, just all kinds of different things. Um, for example, you can go ahead and use it as a credit card once you know people start rolling that out. So you set your phone you know near a little scanner, and you can go ahead and pay for things. Um, but in addition to that, you can also go ahead and transfer data. You can do all kinds of things, and this is our already built into Android 2.3. Um, so that's about it. There are several other uh, improvements and everything, but I'm not going to go ahead and get into everything. But overall, I am very, very impressed with Android 2.3. And now, of course, this is going to be st slowly start rolling out to a lot of phones. Um, and of course, the Google Nexus S will be the first phone to release with this. Um, so definitely looking forward to getting my hands on Android 2.3 and giving you guys a more thorough review. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.